I just read in the Arizona Daily Star News based out of Tucson that Linda Ronstead lost her ability to speak and hear earlier this year. Now many years ago, Linda knew something wasn't right with her voice. Back in 2000, she started noticing her voice would clamp up, as she called it. She would tough it out 10 more years trying to work around her voice issues. But finally, around 2011, she would announce her retirement from performing and recording. I'm 100% retired and I'm not going to do anything anymore, she told the Arizona Daily Star. I'm at the ripe old age of getting to be 65 and I find that I don't have the power that I had and that's not worth inviting people to spend their money. After retiring from music, Linda accepted an offer from Simon & Schuster to write her memoirs and she set herself to the task typing out her life story even as her fingers refused to fully cooperate. The shaking hands caught a friend's attention, and after talking with her, Ronstead finally agreed to see a neurologist. In December 2012, as she was finishing her book, Linda received the heartbreaking news she had Parkinson's disease, which ended up being re-diagnosed in 2019, and that she actually had a Parkinson's disease-like disorder called progressive supranuclear palsy, an incurable degenerative disease. Now here in 2024, we learn that Linda had lost her capacity to speak and hear after a second bout of COVID. With help from therapy, she has regained her speech, she told a close friend, but did not elaborate to what extent. Even though she has regained her ability to talk, she said her hearing loss is still there and may be permanent. There's no doubt this is devastating news. I've never heard of losing your speech as a side effect of COVID. I do remember Paul Simon said he's unlikely to perform live again due to a sudden hearing loss, which has been linked to irreversible hearing loss in some patients who's had COVID. But this is something new on me. I've never heard of speech loss. Maybe I just wasn't listening to the right source. Has anyone else ever heard of this as a side effect? Either way, I was saddened to hear this. I've been a big fan of Linda Ronstead since the beginning. You know, Linda recorded her first album 58 years ago in 1966. After her band, the Stone Ponies were signed to a recording contract by Capitol Records. And she might have been recorded even earlier than that if she had wanted, as there were others interested, but only in her as a solo artist. And Linda flatly refused to do that. It wasn't until they met Nick Vinay at Capitol, who told the execs there, that Linda wasn't quite ready to do solo and recording the Stone Ponies as a band would be the more better idea. A quick side note about Nick Vinay, he was also the guy who signed the new and unheard of band they named the Beach Boys after hearing their demo of Surf and Safari. And back to Linda. Starting out, Linda had the look. She would do a lot of club dates in and around Los Angeles area, coming out barefoot and in a mini skirt. There's no doubt she caught people's eye. but. She was a lot more than that. She had the voice to back up her looks. I've heard her voice compared to Elvis Presley's for reasons that Elvis could sing such a wide variety of music. And I tend to agree with that. And in my opinion, Linda's voice was more versatile than Elvis. You would be hard pressed even today to find a female voice that could cover as many different styles of music as Linda Ronstead. I was happy to hear she regained her ability to speak and is at least able to carry on a conversation again. As for her hearing, that doesn't sound too good. The story came out in the Arizona Daily Star News based out of Tucson, if you all want to keep up with it. But so far, nothing else concerning Linda's health has been reported since June. If you're a big fan of Linda's, I have another video on the channel I know you'll enjoy. It really goes into some good detail about her life and career in music. If you get a chance, check it out. Thanks for watching, and let's leave some prayers and good vibes in the comments section for Linda, okay?